game bus is nearly complete. I'll say around 80%, 90%, we're getting there. And actually to be more precise, not only one bus, it is actually two main buses. I'm going to show you those two buses, why they are actually different, the pros and cons of each of them, and much more. Because of those buses, if we click on the analytics for the vehicles, you can see that actually most of my vehicles are idle. Right out of my excavators, there's only one that's working. Most of my trucks are not working. And if you go into the analytics, you'll see that the few trucks that are still working is mostly for things like slag and rocks that I'm dumping, you know, into my mines over here to try to fill them out, uh, fill them all back up. Right? We fill, for example, over here the coal mine, and now we're starting with the other copper one and the iron one. So yeah, let's dive right in, but of course don't hesitate to check in the video description below if you missed any of the previous episode. So the first bus, the main bus, starts over here at the bottom and goes to the top. And then we're gonna have a second bus that is over here. Uh, this bus on the other hand starts more over here at the top and goes all the way to the bottom there with a few exceptions on both sides. So let me see, and when I said, you know, it's 80% done, it's because as you can see, there's a couple over here that I haven't built yet, but it's almost ready to be built. And then there's still a couple of trucks, as we saw, that are working. So I'll show you what's left after. We start over here, and basically the point of this bus, uh, you know, let me show you a bit more further over here, is you can see it is always two lines, one space, two lines, one space, two line, one space, two line, one space, etc. And it is all at level zero, right? They're all on the ground floor. What that enables you is that with the space between, it's not technically purely necessary, but it's a uh, a lot for aesthetics, it's easy to branch out, right? You can see the iron over here, for example, I want to branch out. So I'm going to put a flap balancer and then, you know, on one side, we're going to continue straight and then whatever resource, you know, we need to take out this one line that will left empty will enable us to put a lift or if you don't like lift, you can also do without, right? Just go up one level or two or three and then branch out on the side. Right. You branch out vertically, uh, horizontally like this, right? And then you're going to build something. And then usually we're going to send the resources back then on the bus. Like it's a new line now on the bus. Right. So these are kind of more kind of the basic resources. Then you have what we start making that is often used, like the mechanical parts, the electronics. Then we have a couple of other basic resources that are used more later in the bus. And then we're going to have over here the sort of final resources, which often are used more for the contracts, things like vehicle part level 2, construction part level 2, this is what's in the middle. And then next to it, this is going to be the way back. You know, if we go all the way to up, you're going to see that then they do a U-turn and then we go all the way back to the beginning. Ah, we're almost there. Yeah, this is a long bus, as you can see. <laughs> it's so cool to see also my trucks moving alongside me and then you know this will go back into the bus with again a flat balancer where the priority is whatever is on the bus right the idea is you want the bus to always be full so whatever is on the bus go first and then you have whatever new production you're making will join the bus right to make it even fuller let's say right so that's what we've done over here this is this first bus it is really working well in the sense that, as I said, with the space that we have over here, it's very easy to branch out. It's very clean. Most of the branching out is done at level one. So you have a lot of space um, upstairs if needed. Uh, don't hesitate to tell me if you have any questions about it. But honestly, it's pretty simple. Right? As you put all of the resources that you need on one line like this. And then when you need it, you branch out with a flat balancer, you use whatever you need, and then you bring back to the bus whatever you're building. This is with a couple of exceptions, like basically, let's look at this one, the PCB. The PCB is only ever used to make electronics level 2. You never need PCB for anything else, right? So there's no uh, reason to send these PCBs over here. There's no reason to send them back on the bus. 
uh, they will always be used directly into electronics level 2 so i just put pcb and electronics level 2 next to each other right and then they go directly into it there's other example for example the silicon wafer same they're only used for one thing which is you know the microchips over here so there's no need to send them to the bus and a couple of others but you have, you know, on the other hand, something like over here, the first thing I'm making mechanical parts. These are using so many things, right? They're using to maintenance, all level of maintenance, actually. They're using to vehicle parts, lab equipment, um, and that's it. But that's already a lot. So <laughs> these ones obviously need to go to the bus. And that's why you have one line over here for that one. So looking quickly at what we have, you know, as I said, we start with the mechanical parts through steel. Then we move into electronics level one through rubber and copper. Then we move into PCB with glass, plastic and copper. We're making this PCB and that goes directly into the next line, which is those PCB plus electronics and poly. This goes into electronics level two. Then we have again poly and water because yes, we have a water and acid line also on the bus. This is going to make a silicon wafer. They are going to go directly into the next stage over here of microchip machines. Uh, we have three of them in a line like we I showed you in the past. This is going to make the level uh, A, then level B, level C of the microchips. Uh, we have the sorter at the end and the line of microchips i mean multiple lines in case you really want to have a way bigger production of microchips and then this will go again not so much on the bus but into the next one which is electronics level three microchips plus electronics level two is electronics level three so you may have also realized that basically so far any resources that was needed for the production was either a basic resource like the glass the steel the copper or it was something we had already made previously on the bus this is not strictly necessary especially with the u-turn right the fact that it's a circle you can you don't really need this but i felt this was a bit more kind of organic and you may also wonder why I made these specific resources at the start. This is because the, this is what's necessary for your maintenance, right? For maintenance level one, we need mechanical parts and electronics. We just made this. Maintenance level two is mechanical parts and electronics level two. And maintenance level three is electronics level three and mechanical parts. So that's why we've basically made everything needed for the maintenance so far. I have also good reserve of those things because, you know, if you have a maintenance problem, you have a big problem. So I have this intermediary uh, storage over here of all four of those resources and then they go directly into those maintenance depots. We're using the recipe with recyclable obviously because remember we're recycling 90% of this maintenance. So that's creating a lot of recyclables, right? They're just joining into this belt and go onto the first belt of the bus. This is actually the only belt that is going from top to bottom. All the other ones are going bottom to top. This one is going top to bottom into the recycling center. Actually, let's look at the recycling center. So it goes over here. We have two of those waste sorting plants because I can guarantee you when I start really um, stress testing this facility, uh, one is not enough. So I have two of these over here. It doesn't really cost a lot of electricity, just a few people. And then we have the sorters on each side, right? Iron scrap, copper scrap, broken, and therefore broken glass, sorry. Therefore what's left is the gold scrapped. Then they are merged in the middle and they go onto those belts here. I'll show you in the future. But yeah, that's the beginning of the, ba the base and the bus. Then we move into actually, you know, useful or things that you may need on your base, like construction part level one with the wood and the concrete and iron and level two with the electronics, level three with the steel and level four with the electronics level two. You can see good storage over here. There's only two that are not completely full, but I even have, I think, some storage over here you know as i start deleting some buildings it gets stored uh, here directly then we're gonna move into the vehicle part which are obviously important if you want to have a big fleet but most importantly i need to make a lot of vehicle parts level two because i have several contracts relying on this so we have vehicle parts level one with the iron mechanical parts and electronics 
this is not sent to the bus there's just a very small storage but then a lot of it over here is vehicle parts level 2 to go in uh, you know as i said into the contracts with a bit of steel and glass and then we have a line for vehicle part level 3 over here right with electronic level 2 i haven't built it because frankly as you know i'm on a quest to actually have no truck on my city so i don't really need a lot of vehicle parts level 3 but if you want to you can build it then the next three are the household you know goods appliances and computers that we need for our people it is full i haven't actually started giving it but you can see it's going to be over here so that's ready it's going to take again the classic resources like glass steel and a lot of wood then we have the appliances which is electronics one electronics two and steel a lot of steel <laughs> Electronics 3, plastic and steel for the computers, a lot there. And then we have the servers, right? The servers, this is with electronics level 3 and still we're making these servers over here. They don't go onto the belt, but they will be uh, needed for data centers, right? Right now I have three data centers. One I just started, I think we're going to go up to four probably. If you missed it, I talked about those data centers in the last episode. But yeah, that's the servers over here important. And then last but not least, we move into the research. Right? We have the research level one with mechanical parts and electronics, research level two with uh, the lab equipment, the paper and the steel. Actually, I don't think I have automated paper fully yet into the belt. Yeah, it's still this old chemical plant there. I'm going to move it into the belt probably somewhere over here at the beginning and then we have lab equipment level 3 with electronics level 2 and lab equipment level 4 with electronics level 3 okay we got it again a big one here is um, level 2 because we're sending it for some contracts the other one this is more you know to if you want to do research if you want to have a reserve of everything i got you covered there is actually one research that we haven't finished it is the solar panel level 2 but that's the last one that we haven't do everything else is done so i'll be i'll build a research lab over here and um, by the way i've also built the vehicle depot at the end there i will probably build you know you can see there is quite a few belts there inputs and also one for the diesel I'll probably do this so that you know if you again want to build a big fleet you'll be able to do it automatically so we'll build things like vehicle part level 3 and the steel right we probably also need iron we need the rubber and i think that's pretty much it you now that's the key resources that are needed over here so yeah that's the first bus as i said don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you have any questions uh, about it but this is working really well as I said there's a couple of resources that we're gonna send for example over here there's the three resources that will go to the city here there's the three resources that are going for my contracts right the um, lab equipment level 2 vehicle part level 2 and construction part level 2 for example the construction part level 2 are going directly over here into the limestone contract right this is construction part level 2 to limestone and that gets us into the second bus this is over here this is the bus for let's call it basic resource right we're gonna take the raw materials like the limestone and we're gonna make things like concrete iron etc so that's the second uh, bus there which is also as i said 80 90 percent done so i'm really happy with it and it's quite a different one as you can see it is a lot more compact i didn't leave space between i also didn't put it at level zero it's actually at level three for a couple of reasons well first of all is i wanted to show you you know there's different ways to do buses like this but there's a couple more kind of structural reason. The first one is that, well, this bus over here, I didn't really need trucks to go from one side to the other. This was by default a bit of a block space. This one, up until the last moment, it was important for trucks to be able to go a bit back and forth. For example, to be able to deliver or to you know to take resources or deliver resources, because that was the base, base of my economy. So that's why I put it at level 3, because all of your trucks, except the big ones, so, you know, the mega excavators or the mega trucks, they cannot go under 
uh, a belt level three like this, but all the other trucks, they can, they can go under, so they could still go there. That was the first reason. The second is, you know, I felt I had a bit less space, so I didn't want to use too much space. And that's fine, you can definitely do this. The way you're going to basically branch out is something you can see over here. You're going to go down from your level three to whatever level you need to. For example, you know, over here, there's two branching out. One is at level one and one is at level zero for the, uh, what is it, salt, I think, yeah. I, I was going to say sugar, but no, it's salt. So you, 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 you know, you get you go down and this way you can branch out and then you go back up when you're done branching out. So that is totally feasible, you know, with a bus like this, you could even put, you know, I didn't put a, a balancer there, but you have the space to put the balancer, especially now that we can move the balancers and put them at whatever level we want, right? You can put a balancer at level three if you want, no problem. So that is the second bus. As I said, it starts more to the sort of top of the island over here. We have the limestone that goes there. Then we're gonna start adding the coal over here. Uh, then we add the sand too, because yes, uh, no, the sand is actually over here, sorry. So we add the sand, um, then we also get others like over here, the iron and copper crushed, right? And we'll go all the way to the end. So there's been quite a bit of changes to this. I'm not going to go into all the details of all of the contracts. We'll do this in the next and probably final episode, to be honest. But I do want you know to look again uh, more at this bus. So first of all, it starts over here, right? We're gonna make the concrete. Then we have over here the poly, glass, etc. But yeah, the key thing is you can see each of them, right? They require pretty much the same resources, right? Usually there's a base resource, like in this case, it's the iron. In this case, it's the glass mix. Then it's the copper, right? Then you have the coal, then you have the limestone or sometimes the sand. And then at the top, you're always going to have the slag. This actually starts, you know, all the way there, right? This belt of slag starts all the way here. And to be more precise, I think at some point that belt will start all the way over there and go all the way here. But yeah, we have one belt of slag that goes all the way. This is this the same, same belt that goes all the way to the end when we then put it into this storage. And right now, you know, as I said at the beginning of the episode, this is what most of my trucks are doing. They are taking this slag over here and dumping it into one of the old mine to try to fill it. At the end, what we'll do is we'll send this slag into this uh, cargo depot to transform into something else. But yeah, and then otherwise, you know, all of the resources, they are on this bus here. And when we start one of these mini factory, they branch out, right? For example, over, over here, we branch out the coal and we branch out the limestone. Uh, or at the end, we branch out the water every time. The water is mainly for the exhaust scrubber. What is happening? Why is this exhaust scrubber not working? Oh, that's not good. Okay. So that's why I had a problem with steel, because these steel factories were not working. I say problem is, you know, this was going a bit down. I didn't know why. Now it's restarting. So anyway, yes, we had, uh, you know, we have the water branching out. And for the next, you can see the same thing, right? We have the coal and the limestone branching out, then the water over here. For the copper, this is coal and sand, and then we have water and acid. So with this, I had built all of the basic resources at level three, my trucks could still go through. There was one thing left to do. This one thing left to do was to bring the basic resources for all of the contracts, Right, the lab equipment, vehicle, and construction parts. You see the construction parts are going there. And then we have the lab and vehicle parts that are going to continue pretty far, to be honest. I mean, the first one is over here, vehicle parts, right, for some quartz. Then we continue, continue, that is a long belt, right? <laughs> Next one, vehicle parts level two again for the iron. Then we have the research level two for the copper, and then we continue for the vehicle parts level two, this is a bit of a spaghetti there. I apologize, but this is basically because I still need my trucks to be able to go through here to take all of this uh, slag and also the rocks that is over here. 
So otherwise, you know, I could have milk it like a very clean over here. This is the, the last uh, belt, right? And it goes into this new factory over here. I think you can guess what this is for. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below. We'll review it in the next episode. But with all of this, we're creating all of the basic resources, right? We're creating the iron, the steel, the uh, plastic, cement. All those things are going right on the belt there so that they can join the main bus there are only three or four sorry four things that go the other way around these are all of my recyclables right and they're basically on top of what uh, you know they, they are linked to if you see over here this is the belt for example for glass on top of it you have the broken glass this was the belt you know for the iron on top of it you have the iron scrap and uh, here we have the gold scrap and then finally here the copper scrap that is next to the copper so these ones you know we also needed to belt of course and they go directly back into those factory with the pie balancer right priority is of course for the recyclables before using some new copper if you wish Right, we have so the copper over here. Then, if we can continue, here is the iron. It's the same. It arrives at level zero over here. Right, it goes in as priority. And then we continue. This will be another iron one in the future. I haven't built it yet. Then we have the gold one goes across. The gold is linked, you know, over here. There is not a proper gold factory furnaces. Right, remember we're making our gold through these two uh, contracts where we are basically selling less gold than what we're getting from at the start but on top i do have indeed those gold furnaces i think four is too many to be honest but eh, at least we have them so four gold furnaces that are making this gold out of gold scrap and of course this is prioritized in the pie balancer like use this gold before buy some new one if you wish and then last but not least we have the glass now it goes over here also into this pipe balancer not pipe sorry u-shaped balancer over here so yeah everything is belted as you can see i don't know what i forgot don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below but yeah i think this is working really well i'm super proud of it this is super clean we have all of our contracts there we have all of the furnaces um, or similar things right like for example cement is not really a furnace it's a mixer but it's a bit the same and then we have over here the actual transformation into end goal materials so what do we still need to do well, as you saw over here, I still need, you know, to build this whole thing to complete the circle. Then we need to build over here the lines that are going to go into all of my uh, modules for my people, right? Household goods, appliances and electronics. And then most importantly, there is still actually a couple of resources that are not built yet. This is mainly on the food and medical production over here. And then this is for nuclear. Speaking about nuclear very quickly, by the way, uh, we are continuing the decommission over here. We have actually completely stopped now the nuclear reactors level two because we don't have enough MOX uh, or uranium abroad to run them. And we've also already made quite a lot of great progress in taking care of our spent mocks. I used to have three radioactive waste storage full of spent mocks. There's only one left and it's already half empty because we continue to use these spent mocks to make blanket fuel into this fast breeder. And then of course this fast breeder, then we can stop it when this is done. I did want to highlight one quick thing, which is at the end when you know you stop using uranium, etc., you may have a couple of spent fuel left, and this is radioactive, so you want to do something with it, right? And if you only have a couple, the problem is you can't do this recipe that we've been using forever because it needs 18. What you can do though is use this recipe over here because this one only uses one spent fuel. It's gonna make a bit of blanket fuel, which you can send again into a fast breeder like this. Or if you want to be a bit sneaky, you can put it into a pipe like this. I mean, this pipe, for example, can have 60 spent fuel. And if you put it, uh, you know, if you make it even longer, you can have even more. And then you just delete the pipe and this will have completely disappeared because it's a liquid, it cannot, you know, you cannot put it into uh, into your um, 
place. Oh, it's very far <laughs> into your shipyard over here, right? Let's look at it. It hasn't joined the shipyard. It just disappeared. I don't know. Some could say it's a cheat. Some could say it's a bug. But anyway, this is to be able to really take care of that last 1% spent fuel that you may have. But yeah, we can delete this and soon we'll be, we can delete that one too for sure. And soon we'll be able to delete the whole thing. And at that point, you know, we'll just make sure that we start our second fast breeder reactor over here. But as I said, there is a couple of things that are not better, right? For example, we need a couple of glass mix, some coal, some acid, some steel. This is going to be needed, you know, forever in a, in a sense, right? So we're going to need to build this from the bus over here. And similarly, you know, if you look over here, this I still need to clean. I will do it. I promise in the next episode, we need a couple of resources, right? Mainly actually sand. I think that's the only one we really need. The coal we don't need anymore. So just the sand. And then here, this is definitely a couple more. We need limestone, sulfur. We need uh, some rocks, acid, water, steel, plastic, and glass. And we also need plastic on this side. So yeah, there's a couple of those resources that we're going to need to build. And this is why I'm starting over here a new bridge because I was like, ah, oh, should I build it over here? That's going to be ugly. This is my main road. Even if I won't have any trucks, I want to keep my main road. So instead, I'm going to build it over here. Right? It goes directly there. So that's one thing we definitely still need to do. And then there is also one other big thing I still need to do before we can say this is complete in the sense of working forever without any intervention from myself is that we will need to do something with this slag, right? For now, I'm glad to have this slag to send it into those mines, but at some point those mines will be full. Granted, it's going to take a while for this to be full, but still, if I want to make it forever, I need to do something with it. Good thing is we do have one more contract we can use to take care of this. This is slag into sour water. So we're going to have to deal with this sour water, but it is possible. And then, by the way, there is also one last contract we're going to want, which is to get us uranium ore forever. Uh, we'll probably put that one more on this side. You know, I think in a perfect world, I would have probably put it over here, but there is no space uh, with this uh, Paris canal is too small. So I think we'll put it more on this side because remember for this to work forever, right now I am using my depleted uranium and there is still a lot of depleted uranium over here. But again, at some point this will be empty. So I need to create the other recipe over here, which will use the uranium crushed to make a bit of blanket fuel. This is really, you know, I think I probably don't need this until year 3000 or something like this, but still good to be prepared for this. I will also in the last episode, you know, review all of these contracts over here to make sure you're very clear on them. We'll review this factory there. We will also do some cleanup, right? I'm going to put, I think, a lot more of these custom surfaces, in particular in the city. I want to make the city pretty. The roads, you know, even if we won't have trucks, I think I'll make more roads. Um, all those type of things. So don't hesitate to tell me also in the comments below if there are more things that you're hoping to see in this series before we finish it. I'm also probably going to post in the next couple of weeks, you know, something around all of my blueprints. We are creating a lot of blueprints with this series. You can find them on my Discord community and maybe also update my great tips video for, you know, this uh, game. So again, if you have any specific requests, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below. Smash like button and I hope to see you next time.